Don't you think it's funny how we always want what we can't have? Imagine a room says keep out and now all you want to do is go in that room. A parent tells their kid no cookies after dark. All that kid is going to think about is cookies after dark. Teacher says don't throw scissors and you get this urge to throw them across the room. Even with people, your crush plays a little bit hard to get and now I bet you want her just a little bit more. That's just human nature. When we believe we can't have something, it immediately becomes more desirable. And I remember for me, the forbidden object of my desire was always chicken. Because I grew up in a vegetarian family, there was no meat allowed and my father was pretty strict about that. So I had a strong craving for meat from a young age and as my life went on, I began to indulge that craving. It began with my babysitter home cooked chicken when I was maybe five years old. Next was the junior chicken from McDonald's. After that, Korean barbecue. Eventually, I graduated to the holy grail of chicken, fried chicken. And you know there was no going back after that. It wasn't until many years later that my love for the forbidden meat would come back to punish me. This story takes place during my time in university. I was living in a house with a few roommates, including my friend Joe. Joe and I had plenty in common. We both played basketball, we played chess, we both watched anime, so yeah, this was my guy. And goes without saying that we were clearly men of very fine taste. And that meant from time to time we enjoyed some fried chicken. So on one fateful day, we ordered up some chicken. Food came to the door and it was beautiful. Potato wedges, fried chicken, crispy, spicy, aromatic, just how I liked it. I had my appetite, I had my homie by my side, we had a good show to watch, ketchup bottle locked and loaded. So Netflix is playing now, we're in action, and I'm going to town on this food, just inhaling these pieces of chicken. But unfortunately, I eventually get some huge bone caught in my mouth. Being an inexperienced and infrequent meat eater, I make the poor decision to swallow it. Big, big mistake, man. Terrible. Because that bone immediately gets lodged in my throat. I try swallowing a few more times, but I've only made it worse. That's hopeless now. I'm completely choking on this bone and I can feel the pain of it jabbing against the inside of my neck. So I begin to panic because I'm sitting behind Joe. I'm completely out of his eye line. He has no idea that I'm in a dire situation right now. I try calling out to him, but I got no breath. I'm completely choked and I can't make a noise. I mean, this bone is perfectly positioned. It has 100% coverage of my airway. It's fitted in there like a piece of a puzzle. So I can't make a sound and I'm properly worried now. I get up and make a dash to the bathroom. I could feel my consciousness beginning to kind of fade away. So I begin making promises to God. And you know, you know you're in a bad situation when you gotta make promises to God. <laughs> I'm saying stuff like, God, please, if I survive, I'm definitely never eating meat again. I won't do drugs, no alcohol, not even coffee, no more girls. I heard I'm not supposed to put Q-tips in my ears. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I won't even lie to my dentist. I'll tell him that I don't floss, okay? Just please let me live. So I shove my hand down my throat and I pull trigger. I throw up. The bone is still caught in my throat, but it has moved a little bit. So there's hope now. Okay, I try swallowing one more time. And by the grace of God, it goes down. Okay, the bone is down now. We're in the clear. I catch my breath, wash my face, look myself in the mirror. And yo, I swear, I had a divine moment. An epiphany, if you will. I thanked God for the gift of life. I realized that tomorrow is never promised. And I was able to truly appreciate the condition of my human mortality. I went back to Joe's room and I told him my story and he completely brushed it off. Didn't care at all. I mean, understandable. He was engorging in a fried chicken meal, probably watching some anime battle. So I get it. Anyway, I went and sat down, took a deep breath, collected myself, and I stared down at the remaining fried chicken at my feet. The forbidden food, it has snuck its way into my life and nearly taken that life away from me. So I picked that box up and I put it right back down because this is actually the story of the last time that I ate meat. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I picked up right where I left off. I mean, I, I was so thankful to be alive and what better way to celebrate than with some fried chicken, right? And yeah, I've had, I've had plenty more good fried chicken since then too. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Check out my last video. We got all the best ones yet to come. Next episode's coming by July 15th, so stick around and take it easy.